The workers of today are using the machines of tomorrow. I can't find but that's a little consolation to Herbie Mays. It will the 62-year-old from near Cincinnati lost his job after 30 years when his company moved some production to Mexico. I've been fighting to figure out what the best thing to do and haven't came up with no answer. Nearby, GE Aviation is looking for workers to man machines that make jet engine parts. But Mays doesn't have the needed skills. I really don't know what to do right now. They forgot that it was the American worker who truly built our country. This is the paradox of American manufacturing in 2017. Donald Trump won the presidency in part because he pledged to stop jobs going overseas. The Rust Belt has been hammered. But American manufacturers have actually added nearly a million jobs in the past seven years. The problem is those jobs require specialized skills. You cannot have uh, an untrained person taking care of a multi-million dollar asset. Festo is doing more than looking for workers, it's training them. The company needs employees at its Ohio facility who can monitor a robotic distribution system. So it launched two-year college apprenticeship programs, which combine engineering and computer skills. We need the smart, intelligent, young students that's coming out of these schools. Students like 18-year-old Jalen Britton. A lot of people say the robotics, they're gonna take over the human jobs, but really the robots, they're gonna enhance what we're already doing. So if you evolve with the robots that are evolving, we grow with whatever is growing. A.J. Sherman is in the final year of a four-year apprenticeship at this steel factory in Virginia. Here, humans and robots work side by side, making chainsaws, leaf blowers, and weed trimmers. When I tell someone I'm an apprentice, the first thing they ask is, do you make money? And the answer is obviously yes, we make great money. Of the 146 million jobs in the U.S., less than half of 1% were filled by active apprentices last year. Apprenticeships are far more common in European countries like Denmark. Novozymes, which makes enzymes for detergents, says automation has increased employment. We have more jobs altogether in Denmark uh, than we had 15 years ago. Herbie Mays knows he may have to learn new skills, but he also needs work now to supplement his benefits. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Norwood, Ohio.